children of gods, and heed my tale of time's beginning. All was dark. There was no sand. There was no sea. No earth, nor sky, no grass, nor wind. Till fire met ice in the gasping void. And from this green came the giant Ymir, first of all beings. Proud Ymir, cruelly killed. Yet from whose bones and blood and brains the world was made. The world you walk and war upon. There you are. friend. My sword is grown greedy. I'm ready to fight. So nice having all of these hearty folk in our home. Drink in your fist? Come on, I'll find you something. Hey, I have it sent you for your father. Oh, what a piece. That must be worth two sturdy long chips. Give it here, I'll pass it on. My father asked me, Sigurd. Suit yourself. But you're not getting any mead. Valka Seder works through my hammer. <laughs> so, you have the ring? Good. This was worn by your grandfather in a battle on the Northern Way. Mother? Yes? Can we show Sigurd the can stones we stacked yesterday? That's a good idea. We'll do that in the morning. First light. A gift to deliver.
Evo, wait. Skull! Custodio! The true king of Burgafolga! Tonight, we all made a new skull! Ah. Evo. King. May our clans be forever bonded in friendship and love. Thank you, Eivor. Now and forever, I am pledged to you. <laughs> Hearken well in the Hall of Kings. On ocean steed, my words gain wings. Oh, then speed our forth will bring. Let us sing! The brave men slain, Valkyrie awaits! Rewards for strange of our little takes! And horns resound the mighty horn! For those who fight! Not just yet. It is foretold. The curtains are raised. Nothing is true until it is severed from the branches of Yggdrasil. Fate, and die a coward here before your people, and I will spare the rest. Fight, my love! Do not listen! If I give my life, will you spare my clan? You have my word. No. No, Baron. No, Aaron! Pick up your axe! <laughs> No! Kill them all! 
different data streams overlapped in the same DNA. Not sure why. Fix this or pull me out. I can parse the streams with a filter. Hold on. Okay, we're good. Are we? I don't know what happened, but I can work around it. You'll have to pick a stream to keep things stable. There's a third option, too. I can let the Animus modulate your identity based on signal strength. It's up to you. All right, I'll lock it in and push ahead to a time where these streams are more synchronized. How long have you been chasing me, Wolfkist? Seventeen winters? Eighteen? Do I now haunt your dreams? Do I warm your loins? <laughs> you remember this? Oh, your father sacks. The weapon of a coward. A scorn snake. Ah, few things would please me more than to kill with this blade. But I know you would defy me to the death, fighting for a glorious end. That I will not allow. You will live your final days enthralled as a slave, humiliated. Your death would be a lonely one. <laughs> Kill the rest of his crew! Make them suffer! Hey, the wolf kissed us no more! That name is dead to this world! You will be worth your weight in silver. <laughs> To the ship! You move, and I take your eyes, you hear me? Wind's blowing from the south! We can tack north, then cut west. Now, what did I just tell you?
save that for later.
clash of iron. There's fighting nearby. Thank you, old hound. You live. I do. Slipped away in the sword clash. And what of you? Kyotwe tried to sell me off. A mistake he will regret. Not today he won't. I saw him board a ship at Aval's Nest not long ago. Sailed east, leaving our crew behind. There must still be time to save our men. I will find them. You ready the longship? You glory hound! You would take the rescue for yourself, so the victory song is written about you! I could storm the beach then. Slay two dozen men, seize our dragon boat and hoist the sail in triumph. Up to you. No, no, I will take the beach. A far more dangerous path. You search the longhouse for our crew. Oh, and here. This corpse will not have need of it. Go. I will meet you by the ship. Kyotwe's warriors crawl through Arval's nest like lice. If I use the main gate, I may attract attention. I should not be seen in this area. The Longhouse. opening in the roof. You squirm like that, and my axe will miss your neck. Unpleasant! me and stick an axe in my hand. I owe you nothing, raven shit. Yours is a clan of thralls and peasants. You lay that axe aside or die by mine. You should be on a slave ship to Ireland, Wolfkist. But if you wish to be my first sacrifice, Odin will be more than happy to receive you. You just killed yourself, Erki. Now you pay! I will sell you to hell herself! <laughs> Kneel, Wolfkist, and I will spare your life! Shut your hole and fight! Die, you sack of shit! you all!
father. You should have held on to this until the bitter end. If I give my life, will you spare my clan? That is no! Pick up your axe! Kill them all! No! What? Oh, yes, of course. Ah, well fought, Fred. Wolf Kissed. You Even if your wits were somewhat rattled. Coward! <coughs> 
will cost you. Going to feed the wheat. Grab yours. The whale road leads us home. Gods, it's about time. Stop yapping and start rowing. More sails. Team Luke. Anything to say for the mess you led us to? We suffered no losses in this fight, and the men who humiliated us are dead. What is there to say? Oh, something like, I was stupid, selfish, reckless, blind, boneheaded, and I smell like blood and shit? I like my version better. Eivor, look! Someone is setting up an outpost on that island. Shut his men, gnawing at any piece of open land like dogs worrying a bone. Even with you half in the grave, we could easily take them.
Come, we've outstayed our welcome. now, harder and stronger than before. No surprise there. This war has spun on for three generations. I hardly expect him to relent. Your hatred for that man burns bright wolf kissed. I could warm my balls on it. Would you not prefer a pair of sealskin breeches? Just take care, Eivor. Such hatred can make you careless. What he did to your father, he did to all of us. You are not in this fight alone. King Styrbjorn will scold you for setting out against his wishes. Of course he will. Is that not something you worry over? I worry only that our king will not see that I'm right, until it's too late. What about Sigurd? What would he say? If Sigurd were here, he would be sitting beside you, wiping the blood from his axe and smiling into the breeze. And what will you tell our king about this misadventure? Only the truth. That we attacked Kjotve's fortress, killed his men, and weakened his control of this land. Will you mention the part where you lost your crew and were nearly sold as a thrall? Will that be part of your saga? If there is a skull to dare sing that verse, it will be his last song. you, Eivor. For good this time. A warm welcome as always, Randri. You look like red and shit. What happened? Nothing to crow about, except to say the men who delayed us are dead. And how are you? Well enough. Though I have spent many tiresome days calming the rages of our king, he is not happy with you. I expected as much. And what of Sigurd? Has he returned from his raids? My husband should be home today. The last we heard, he was approaching Stavanger. Good to hear. We have need of his courage. Sigurd will not save you from his father's wrath, Eivor. You should know that by now. Did your raid not go as planned? They rarely go as planned. But we killed many of Kyotve's warriors. And there was this. My father's axe among the dead. Ah. After so many years. You should take it to Gunnar. He will give it back its edge. A good idea. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. I can wait. A cloud hangs over you. 
Is something wrong? Seeing my father's axe after 17 winters, it stirred something in me. A feeling I've not had since the day he was killed. Since the day I got this. Memories of past agonies. Of sadness and pain. I should speak with Valka. She could help me make sense of my... feelings. Take your time getting settled. I will see you at the Longhouse. I think you have lost your edge, Eivor. Just like that axe. Maybe Gunnar can help you with both. I will let you know. Did you bring us any tr- Is the king free to speak with me? He is still with the emissary from the north. I would wait a while longer. Understood. I will come back. You point me to some good hunting grounds. I could, but I don't want every iron foot with a bow scaring away the game. Bring me three deer antlers to prove your skills, and I might just have a story for you. A worthy challenge. I will see you soon. Like to hear a story. This Who land will never prosper while gods. clan battles clash. There is there no one who will go around with me? songs of nature. Hamuram. Hamuram. Svala. She gives praises and she is greeted. For your hearing I hearken. O oh, ancient ones, great Odin, great Freya, I give you thanks for your gift of Seder. She gives thanks and she is blessed. Eivor, it has been some time. What brings you so far to see me? I... I have come for your advice. On a private matter. Come. Is your mother well? Her mind is a jumble. She speaks to spirits. I fear her final winter has come. But she has me. Now... Let us speak to your needs. I have had a vision. A powerful vision. It may have been my battle lost, or a delirium caused by the cold, but... Describe it for me. After 17 years, I saw my father's axe again. And when I touched it, the vision came on fast. There was a wolf howling in fears, and then a figure. A grey beard in a cloak with a single eye. He bid me follow him. Ah, the High One. He calls to you. Perhaps he means to speak with you, 
deliver a message. Only through Seder will you see more clearly and unravel the threads that sit tangled upon your mind. This will not take long. What are you brewing? An elixir to loosen your hugur and unwind your thoughts. You will enter a waking sleep and journey to the world of dreams. It may confuse or disorient you, but you must take note of all you see. Drink. If you seek true understanding. I saw nothing, Volka. Felt nothing. Harvey! Harvey! I walk among the dead. Sigurd. Sigurd! Brother, when did you arrive? no other way, Harvey. Our fates are fixed. Sigurd! Sigurd! What has... what has happened? This was not for you, Harvey. Steady, Eivor. It is Valka. I am here. Gods, I thought I... What was that? Tell me everything. I, I, I was on a mountain, in a, in a violent blizzard, climbing toward the summit, following a, a wolf. Mm -hmm. I saw Odin and the Nornir spinning the threads of fate. They were watching me. Mm, not watching. They were showing you the way forward. Your life, your path, what lies before you, and where it ends. And the wolf was eager for my attention, as if it were beckoning me to follow. You are the wolf-kissed, fated to carry its mark for life. 
In this case, it might represent your ambition or your fear. I saw the gates to Odin's Hall of Slain Champions. They opened for me. Shades of Valhalla, for which you are destined. I do not know what else to say. My, my memories are faint, hazy. Did you reach the summit of this mountain? I did, yes. Sigurd was there, wounded, in pain. His fighting arm was missing. Then the wolf reappeared, the size of a dragon, twisted and terrible. It fixed its eyes on me and struck. Then I awoke. The gods favor you, Eivor. They always have. You will have your glory, and you will earn your place in Valhalla. But these portents carry a darker truth. The missing arm, the trail of blood, the beast. You will betray your brother, Sigurd. That is the meaning of your vision. That cannot be right. I would never betray Sigurd. He is my brother, my family. The Nordnir have spoken, and this is their message. No! This is wrong! Oh, you misunderstand! That cannot be right! You will betray Sigurd. Odin fought against his fate! It can be done! So, Ivan is asleep on his watch. That would explain some things. Ivan, wake up! Or you will be cast into the wild! Must... stay awake. They could be... anywhere. Is he walking in his sleep? They are everywhere. If we die, everyone dies. <clears throat> Must not fall asleep. Need to see them coming. Ivan, wake up! You're headed for the edge! Going to ride the rope slide? Windy. Storm coming. <laughs> Ivan, Ivan! Calm down. You are asleep. No! I was flying through the air! In your sleep, a harsh awakening, true. But at least you live. Have you always taken these dream walks? Since my posting here. When I am in bed, I worry about ways we could be attacked. When I'm on watch, I cannot stay awake. Only a fool stays awake all night worrying. You're tired when you get up, and the problem is still not solved. You speak with the wisdom of Odin, Neighbor. I will think on these words when I am in bed. Consider them on your watch, and sleep when you're in bed. But now, report back before you're labeled a deserter. 
Go. I think I found the comb! Wait, this is a jawbone! Want to find it. Just you wait and see. It must be around here somewhere. I think this is yours. Halt in your search. A winner. And my comb have been found. Now. The price for finding my comb is some of my time. A walk in nature may be more 
if that is where our conversation takes us. I see. Lead on. You are different than the kind my flight so fancy attract. Burdened, decorated, and... delicate. Delicate? And the others? They are like clubs. Blunt and ungainly. You are nimble. Like a knife. Are you so in need of suitors that any passing woodsman or viking I will do? I was married one. I was married once. My Alfie died five winters back. Ours was a perfect marriage. I do not need another. But am I to go the rest of my days without love or attention? I think not. And the comb? Could be a comb, could be a brooch, or an arm ring. So long as it's lost, and to be found by a helping hand. Any good tales come of this? Once I thought the same man had stumbled across me three times. Gave me a fright. Turned out to be triplets. If this comb is worth nothing to you, what shall I do with it? You could keep it. Comb your hair. Or... I could comb it if you like. Comb my hair. Is that why those men scrambled over each other? I could do more than comb your hair. Find all your nuts and snags and tame them, if you'd like. My shoulders are tense, and my hair is a tangle. I could use a softer touch for these kinks. Then let me. Mmm, delicate touch. Indelicate voice. This was fun, Eivor. Hold on to the comb, as a keepsake. Thank you, Beel. You tamed some knots I haven't been able to reach myself. Toby, trading a needle for an arrow, I see. Eivor, can you teach me the art of archery? I would be happy to. Where are you going? Come back! Well, look who it is. Practicing your wordplay, Alvis. Ah, Eivor! <laughs> the only mouth in Midgard from which I fear mockery. You taught me the art of writing poetry, old friend. It is only natural that I surpass you soon. How about another lesson, then? A quick flight. Right here, right now. What do you say? Let's try flighting. I always put a few coins down as a wager. Most of those who enjoy flighting have an equal fondness for betting. But today, we'll abstain. Let me begin. I'm ready. In flighting, it's key to match cadence and rhyme. It's as much about sound as it is about time. So be careful in choosing the words that you say. You're a very fine teacher, I'm sure I'll excel. Interesting. You have the cadence correct, but you failed the rhyme. Now, let us examine meaning. <clears throat> In flighting, you'll need to be cutting and keen. It's about wielding wit more than venting your spleen. If I tell you you're foolish and stupid and dull... Then I'll tell you you've nothing inside of your skull. 
Ah, a good response. I called you stupid, and you turned it around. Flighting about wit, you matched my meaning. When you think of too many perfect retorts, use the one that best matches the meaning. Last one. So go, then, and conquer the world with your wit. Go be clever, be quick, show your spirit and grit. I look eagerly forward to seeing how you fare. I will flight you with flourish and best you with flair. Perfect, yes! <laughs> you could destroy me with such a line. Your flighting's astounding, you're worthy of praise. You swing a fine axe and you turn a good phrase. Thank you, Alvis. I'll take the lesson to heart. Wolf kissed. Welcome back. Gunnar, I have something here you might like to see. Thunderclap of Thor! Is that your father's axe? I have not seen this beauty since, well, for some time. I forged this weapon long ago. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade. But it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the handle. And as luck would have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Are you sure? The fates have willed it so. But in future, bring your own metal ingots. I cannot forge them from empty air. They must be finished now. The king has called for his best mead, so the talks are concluded. It should be safe to enter. I'm ready to face the thunder. I will speak with the king now. Excellent, King Stierbjorn. I will take this proposal to my nephew. I believe he will see the wisdom in it. Good. It is all I can hope for. May the... May the winds favor your voyage, Guthormer. Eivor, come forward and explain in plain words why you have willfully disobeyed my commands. Do you mock me? I do not mock you, King. I mean to embolden you against your enemies and your own poor judgment. You know nothing of my judgment. You know nothing of my plans and strategies. Sigurd would agree with me. My son might agree with you, but he would obey me. He knows his place. Not as well as he knows his father. Imagine you are harassed by an enemy with warriors that vastly outnumber your own. What profit does open war bring? Would it not be better to work quietly through diplomacy, gaining alliances? Waiting until the day our numbers outweigh our enemies, and our victory is guaranteed. Kyotr and his clan will never negotiate with us. They speak the language of war, so we must answer back. 
I have waited a lifetime to take back the honor that Kyotwe took from my family. Now is the time to act! My time to act! Are you so blinded by vengeance that you cannot see beyond your nose? Is that all? I'm at a loss with you, Eivor. When I took you in as my own, never did I imagine such disrespect from the child of Varin. Your father was a fine man. Just and loyal to me, he died bravely so that we might live. He died a coward, Lord. A fate I will not mirror. Why do you carry such a useless burden? Let it go! Think only of the days to come, of your future and the victories at hand. My honor has been stained. Until it's wiped clean, I want nothing else. I refuse to pick at that wound again. But if there is something that can chase these shadows from your thoughts... Sigurd has come! Down at the docks, his ship is here! Careful with that one. Hey, Vaughn! See you good. <laughs> oh, look at you, blood soaked drinker. What have you been worrying without me? Oh, and you, salt cured Vikinger. I smell the stink of a dozen kingdoms in your beard. It's <laughs> just a start. Randvi, my dear wife, your husband returns. Bringing gifts and riches to share. And new friends, I see. Yes. Basim and Hytham. We met in Miklagant, and they show me her buried secrets. We are grateful to Sigurd for his invitation and eager to pay tribute to your king. My brother is always very careful with the company he keeps. If you're standing safely beside him, he must like you. Ah, Eivor. Save the introductions until our bellies are full. I will see my father. Tell him of my time away. This morning we traded with a ship passing south. They told us Eivor the Wolf Kist was captured by Kyotve's men. They must have cut the tail short. I killed my captors and recovered my crew. And for that your father scolded me. They must have cut the tail short. I killed my captors and recovered my crew. And for that your father scolded me. You know where I stand, brother. Nothing short of war will dislodge Kyotwe from our lands. But he disagrees. I know. I know. Father thinks too much and acts too little. Today that changes. I promise you. By the winter's end, the name Kyotwe the Cruel will be a curse on the lips of a... My son! Welcome home! Ah, uh, father... Tonight we feast and celebrate your return, Sigurd. The tables are laid with barley and lamb, bread and mead. And no more, I beg you. I want nothing you would not serve a thrall. Let me be the one to honor you. I bring gifts and tales from faraway lands. After two winters away, I am full up with both. Very well, very well. Come inside. And when we are fat and satisfied, father, we will talk of Kyotve and his clan, and how we may end their terror once and for all. He has dogged us too long, shamed us for too many seasons. 
I know this. Eivor knows this. It ends now. Yes, of course, when the time is right. Through Rusland we barreled down the Volga River, raiding as we went, shadowy tribes hurling spears at our ship. At Miklagard, we saw men bedecked in riches as vibrant as the Bivrest itself. And these we took for our troubles, of course. We sailed to Rome, then Africa, past oceans of sand, warriors of all colors, and beauty the eyes must weep to behold. And now I have returned. With riches and glory to share with my family, my friends, my eyes for Strengir. So take what you desire from my horn. For this, this is only a taste of things to come. Tomorrow, the Raven Clan starts anew. Skull, Sigurd. Skull! And you, Eivor, come. I have something special for you. Sigurd has raised the reputation of this clan to new heights, Lord. We could not have asked for a more joyous return. No, oh, but we could have. Had Sigurd spent his last two winters here, in Fornberg, defending our lands, we might have been rid of Kjotve by now. You always said we needed more warriors to fight Kjotve. And for warriors, we need wealth, which Sigurd has brought us. The wealth he brings will not buy us an army. It only buys us time before our end. You talk like a man with one foot in Helheim. Have you no plan of your own to rid this land of our enemy? Or will it fall to Sigurd and me? I do, but it will fall to you and Sigurd to accept it. And I must have your word that you will. If you so order it, my king, it will be done. You have my axe until the end. Hmm. We shall see. Randy. Eivor, have you paid a visit to Volka? I did. And? It is not something I can speak on or wish to. I understand. Your bed will be warm tonight with your husband returned. That must be a good feeling. It is a different feeling. Warmer, but with less space to stretch my arms and legs. Are you not happy to see your husband returned? Of course. But it has been so long he seems a stranger to me. Three winters we are married, and he has been away for two. Can you not rekindle the flame that once burned hot? <laughs> when he crawls into bed to warm me, as you say, it will be with farts and honeyed breath. Ah, uh, we should all be so lucky. <laughs> <clears throat> Hytham, is it? Yes, and you are Eivor. I am. I hope this ruckus does not overwhelm you. We tend to drink and talk at equal speed. Not at all. The wood smoke from your fire pit does sting the eyes. But the warmth is welcome. Of course. It must be rather warm where you live. Where I live changes from week to week. But always I am with my mentor, Basim. Your mentor? For what cause? A noble one. A cause as true as the world is old. But let us leave it at that for now. I understand. But if you hope to stay tight-lipped for the rest of the night, keep clear of Tekla's mead. <laughs> ah, thank you for the warning. It will not be a problem. You are Basim. You have a good memory. And you have no mead. Can I fix that? Sigurd spoke often of you on our journey. Called you his right arm, a celebrated warrior. I am honored to meet you. Likewise, Basim. And how did you come to meet my brother? He sat down in Constantinople some months ago to rest and resupply, he told me. But I knew otherwise. Men with eyes that gleam like his are always up to something more. 
I think he wished to raid the Hajj of Sophia. That sounds right. I will not bore you with the details of our meeting. But I liked your brother from the first. I saw something in him that captivated me. As if a forgotten memory of an old friendship had suddenly resurfaced. He has that effect on people. Enjoy your evening, Basil. I thought long and hard on a gift worthy of you. You have snared my curiosity, brother. What is it? Not yet. Drinks first. To my first night in Fornberg in over two winters, it must end with me soaked and wall-eyed, shouting at the shadows of trolls. And you want me to sail with you on these honey waves? Yes. You are stuck with me, Dringur. Now drink. Put Thor to shame. From drinking to breathing, you turn everything into a competition, brother. I must always be prepared. <laughs> True enough. It is good to have you back, Sigurd. Yes. I've missed this terribly. When I first met Basim, I regaled him with tales of our homeland. And it was then I felt a hard longing to return at once. Come. This brings us to your gift. These excellent men were my shepherds through much of their homeland, the Abbasid Caliphate. They are a clan not joined by blood, but by a common idea. A brotherhood of shadows executing their own form of justice. In my time with them, they shared many of their most hidden secrets, for which I am grateful. And now... I gift one of these secrets to you. A weapon for the finest warrior I know. Beautiful craftsmanship. What kind of smith makes a weapon like this? It is less a weapon than a tool. One we have used for centuries to fight injustice and evil. Mentor, I must protest. This is deeply unorthodox. Our wrist blade is a sacred Do tool. Do not make a fetish out of cold metal, Haifa. What matters is the mind of the one who wields it. Please, try it on. The blade should ride on the underside of your arm, to conceal it from your target. I have no wish to hide this, and I would rather not make the same mistake you two have. I like it. This is no mistake. This is a voluntary sacrifice to prove our devotion to... A good start, Eivor. But you must learn how to use it effectively. Outside. This is not something for all eyes. Lead on. <laughs> this clan of yours, it has a name? Indeed. But among the tenants of our creed is a vow to never reveal too much to outsiders. In time, you may learn more. But not here, where the walls and trees may have ears. I look forward to it. Here, let me lead you through our most basic techniques. Wielded with skill and care, a blade delivers a singular killing blow. As you near your target, find your window to strike. Timing is essential. Excellent! I have not seen a blade so sharp. Some targets are trickier than others. Keep that in mind before you strike. A decent attempt. Take that one down from the ledge.
That's it. How about a challenge? Leap down upon that target from above. A perfect strike. Use your surroundings when possible. Strike from that haystack, for instance. Mentor, does Eivor intend to join us? Not that I am aware. Then why offer him the plane? Surely we have more... Python. Hush. You wield the blade well. Let us leave Eivor to enjoy his gift in peace. Come. Eivor, let us walk to the docks and take in the night air. What do you make of my new friends? They seem generous and menacing in equal measure. I know what you mean. And they have learning, too. They wield numbers and writing as if it were magic. Basim has shown me so much about the world, all of which I will share with you. Oh, I miss the smell of this land. Have you returned for good? Or do you mean to join this Shadow Brotherhood? Leave all that aside, Eivor. Tonight we are family again. The here and now is what matters. Our kinship. Our clan. Our glory. I missed you, brother. Your clear head and your courage. We have not had enough of both in recent months. <laughs> you flatter me, Wolfkist. Keep it up. From here to Valhalla, I will always be on your side, Sigurd. Always. This fjord has grown too small to contain me, or I too large. There is so much more beyond these stony fangs that rise around us. England, Ireland, Francia, all greener pastures, ripe for the plucking. Tomorrow, we make new war on Kyrtve and reclaim the lands he took from us. And from there, we build a kingdom for us. I'm with you. Only say the word. Good. Get some rest, and return here at first light. The Nordnir have spoken. You will betray Sigurd. No! This is wrong! That cannot be right! Ah! Odin fought against his fate! It can be done! Ah! You will betray Sigurd. Shit! Kjotvis warriors! Bad feeling, just the three of us. We should return to not fall with our rep. But while we can, we can bring Kyot the news of the long sword, or we can wake him with Sigurd Stirbjörnsson's head. Which is better? All right.
Hi. Can you point me to some good hunting grounds? I could. But I don't want every iron foot with a bow scaring away the game. Bring me three deer antlers to prove your skills, and I might just have a story for you. A worthy challenge. I will see you soon. Will that do? Yes. Have a look in the mountains between Fornburg and Stavanger. I have heard stories of a great elk that wanders there.
Be careful, or be cursed! What is this menace you shout about? Is it some creature you hunt? My prey is the most cunning of beasts. Capable of vile deeds beyond the ability of any common animal. You are hunting someone, then? A warlock. One who once called himself a man, but has since befouled his hoover. His whole being with twisted Seder magic. This has the feel of something more personal. The evil spider who squats in yonder hut poisoned my own sister. For that alone, it deserves to die. But maybe you would be moved to help by the bounty King Harald has offered for any warlock killed. Prophet can persuade where passion fails. I will weigh this against the effort. The warlock makes its lair down this road to the left. Keep an eye out. Will you come to face me, finally? Or will you could... Are you the warlock who laid a curse on this land? There was a curse here long before I came along. A curse of ignorance that infects all of Midgard. So you're not using your magic against this land and its people? I try to use my knowledge to help others. I am only a threat to those who fear the unknown, of which there are many. There's a hunter who believes you poisoned his sister. I tried to save her. I made a mixture that would have burned away her illness, but he chose to drench her in pig's blood. If there is any blame here, it lies on him and his ignorant kin. He killed his sister. Do not listen. He will poison our thoughts. You have no thoughts to poison. Die, monster! To hell with you! Die now! <clears throat> <clears throat> than any magic. They kill wisdom. You may claim his belongings. His body I will give to the land. Stronger 
I speak as your king, Sigurd, not your... We do not have the men to storm Kjotve's fortress. The losses would ruin us. The losses have ruined us, father. Until we cut off this serpent's head, it will poison us day by day, drop by drop. The poison has already polluted our waters. God save all. What happened? Spies in our camp. Three men sent by Kjotve to kill us as we slept. I returned the favor. There, you see? This is what waiting brings. We must answer this insult. They came from Nottfall, that whaling village under Kjotve's control. We hid him there. Burn it down before Kjotve learns his spies are dead. He may have sent more. I can search the village while you round up the crew. No need. I will send Hytham to search the area. You can rely on him while we are away. We? Do you mean to join us? I have not been bred for Valhalla like you, but this will be far from my first battle. I do not like this, but I will not stop you. Do not lead my son into the same storm that follows you. Supply wagons! We should destroy them! Coming!
Raven Clan. You reap a bloody harvest. Who are you, Gester? Name yourself. I know his face. He met with your father not long ago. I did, indeed. I am Guthorm, uncle to King Harold of the North. I speak for my nephew when there is need. This is not King Harold's land. Why does he send warriors so far south? You may ask him yourself, my lord. Thank you, uncle. And you are Sigurd of the Raven Clan, is that right? Son of the wise king Stebjorn. I am. And you are standing on his land, King Harald. Land we have reclaimed with blood and steel. That I see, and I honor it. For I have not come to war against you, but for you, at the request of your father. The canny wolf. Was this the plan he spoke of? I offer my support. With my warriors, your Raven Clan can take Kyrtwe's fortress and settle this rivalry for good. This is good news, Eivor. The Wandering King will tip our fortunes. Why risk your men to help us, King? Have you a stake in this fight? This war between Kyrtwe's clan and your own has long simmered on my southern border. I wish to see it put to rest. There will be no peace while Kedwe lives. But there is much agreement between your father and me. This blood feud runs deep, King Harald. We welcome your help, but I must lead the charge. I see. Is this a question of honor? It is. Many winters ago, Kyotwe broke an oath to our fathers. He betrayed a friendly peace and slaughtered many. I understand. Sigurd Jarl will lead the assault against Kyotwe and his clan. Give him full command of my ships and my warriors. When your victory is in hand, Sigurd, find me at Alrekstadir, and we will celebrate together. Our men will gather at Florli, near the mouth of the fjord northeast of here. Will you join us? Hold a moment. You captain our longship, Eivor. Meet us there, and we will claim Kyrtvis' head for the gods. Brother, I have waited too many years for this day. When Kyrtvis stands before us, give me the final blow. You will have it, Eivor. You deserve it. Eivor! Give us a hand! Hardald is generous with his troops. More than I would be. I cannot fathom his game. He is either a young fool, or deceptively wise. Whatever his reason, I have a good feeling this war is near its end. Eivor, you missed the opening act. Kurtve's forward camp melted like a spring thaw at our approach. Is it from here we launch our attack? We do indeed, and we are ready to fight. King Harold's forces are well in place. Only give the word. 
I will, but before we strike, I have a request. Name it. The neighbor may give challenge to Kyotve at the gate of his fortress. A battle to the death in single combat. Is... is this what you want? Kyotve robbed my father of all honor and dignity. I will win it back. When honor is at stake, let none interfere. And if Kyotve should die before the battle begins, all the better for our chances. Today my blade must do the work of Skuld's sharp scissors, and cut short the cord of Kyotve's fate. Well said, my sharp-tongued warrior scout. May we all live to hear that saga sung. Eivor, a word! Basim, Hytham. This feud is not yours, yet you fight it all the same. I find that strange. You find it strange because you are wrong. Our clan, the Hidden Ones, have been fighting with Kyotve's order for centuries. You came from Miklagard to kill Kyotve yourself? We did. Or rather, we came so that Hytham could kill him. My apprentice has been studying this target for many months. Is Kyotve's reputation so great outside Norway? Not his reputation alone, but the order to which he belongs. Something of a rival clan to our own. Hytham, I mean no disrespect to you or the Hidden Ones, but Kyotve is mine. My family's honor is at stake. I understand. All that matters is that Kyotve dies this day. On that, we are agreed. Sigurd is only here to watch me feed your innards to my raven. Look at this! <laughs> Once again, Abel Wolfkist appears to take a swipe at me! This... This is my father's shame. Today I take back the honor he lost. I call a home gang! Here! Against the Oathbreaker! I will make you beg, as your father begged, Wolfkiss. Squeal, as your mother squealed. You destroyed my life! I will take yours! You are weak, like your father was weak! You dance better than you fight! You cannot avoid your death! Taste the fear! Come! Embrace your destiny! Slow, brother! No weapons but these hands! Pray for death! will drink your blood! Your flesh will feed my wolves!
charge for each of you ravens! if you must, into the crucible of your doom. Your father is dead, Gorm! His debt repaid! Open the gates and you will be spared! Wallow in shit, wolf kissed. Archers, take aim! Ravens, show no mercy! Archers, fire! Let's clear the high ground! 
Jesus! Oh, then stop this one. you predictable. You are a shadow of your father, Gorm. Weak and witless. And you will leave this place as ashes on the wind. twice today. The breath of battle rises from my brow. The skulls will sing of this night. We have won the day, and Gorm escaped. He fled north to King Harald's domain. Let that bruised piglet run where he may. His father is dead. His clan is no more. We are the masters of Ruyavilke. A toothless cup may grow to be a dangerous wolf. Eivor, stop. And listen. You have reclaimed your honor. Enjoy the night's victory. Tomorrow, we will celebrate. You're right, brother. You're always right. Guthormur, relay news of our victory to your nephew, the king. I have done so already, Sigurd. He'll be more than pleased, and will ensure you pride of place at his Althing at Ulrikstadir. Tell him we will come, battle flushed and singing songs of glory. Keep company with kings, and you will soon have a crown of your own. <laughs> if the fates have spun it so, linger here and loot what you can. I will bring news of our victory to father before he leaves for Harald's Althing. I know, Sunin. Another time.
Huh? <laughs> 
Is anyone home? This is not a natural quiet. It's as if a curse has befallen this place. Mir, Dimir. Wonder where they've gone. Emir was killed. Pieces by wolves. None remain on this island. I should leave this place. wanders widely and has traveled far will learn the scope of mankind's nature and discover common sense. 